You know, I think I, I think the first thing is I would not give up on product sales. Uh, I think that's a part of your business that's worth defending. Uh, it's maybe 25 or, or 30 percent of your business, so I think you need to uh, try to salvage that business. Uh, so I would not give up. I think there are, in fact, I spent two hours at the conference uh, talking about how to compete with the internet, how to compete with the big box retailers uh, that are selling these products that used to uh, formerly were only available in veterinary clinics. So uh, I would not give up on that business. Uh, also, there's entire categories that veterinarians are, are not really active in at all. Uh, the pet nutrition category uh, uh, is an example there. So, uh, but in terms of things other than product sales where I think you should focus, uh, I think the number one focus should be in the laboratory. Um, uh, in the last decade, the laboratory has been the largest or fastest growing uh, growth area. Uh, it's expected to be the fastest growth area in the future. Uh, lab work is very profitable. Uh, so specifically what I'm talking about here is, um, I think you gotta seriously consider requiring uh, pre-anesthetic tests. If you believe that's a, a valid medical protocol, I think clients will pay for it. Uh, I think you need to seriously consider offering annual wellness screens. For example, when you take that blood sample uh, for the heartworm test, um, most clinics have an opportunity to uh, examine what they're doing in senior medicine. Uh, that's probably nearly half of the patient base. Uh, for example, the American Animal Hospital Association guidelines uh, recommend that a healthy pe a senior pet um, uh, would have blood work uh, and a urinalysis semi-annually, so every six months. And then finally, I think a lot of clinics in the lab have an opportunity um, uh, to follow up with long-term or, or chronically dispensed medications. So the number one area there is lab. Number two, I think, is oral care. I think the opportunities in oral care, uh, the, the sky is the limit. We know the, the prevalence of periodontal disease is enormous, maybe 85% of uh, dogs, 75% of cats, and yet in most clinics, oral care is less than 3% of gross income. So another gigantic opportunity area.